year after a Mizzou student nearly died during a hazing incident, his family is speaking out. Danny Santulli is in a wheelchair, blind and unable to speak. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley talks with his father, who gives an emotional account of how he and his wife found out what happened to their son. Emily. Shirley, Danny Santulli followed in his brother and sister's footsteps by attending the University of Missouri. Last year at this time, Danny was rushing the Phi Gamma Delta fraternity. Since then, 11 fraternity brothers have been charged, 10 of which have been indicted by a grand jury for hazing. Deep down inside, Emily, I knew it was bad from the minute we got the phone call. I just knew. October 20th, the day the Santulli's lives changed forever. 1.30 a.m. in the morning, we got a phone call from the emergency room at University Hospital in Columbia. Just so you know, we have him here. He's on a breathing machine, and we think it's alcohol poisoning, and you better get down here. Tom Santulli and his wife, Mary Pat, drove seven and a half hours through the night to Columbia. We didn't know anything about any event going on at Mizzou. Pledge that we real life. We had no clue. On the night of October 19th, Danny attended the event at Phi Gamma Delta and according to the family's lawsuit was ordered to drink an entire bottle of vodka. Just before midnight, fraternity members found him in distress. Prosecutors allege no one called 911 and instead loaded him into a car and took him to the hospital. I'm really angered about the 911 because if someone called 911, we wouldn't be having this conversation. When they arrived, Danny was not breathing in cardiac arrest and his blood alcohol content was 0.468%, nearly six times the legal limit. And at one point, one of the doctors said, there's nothing more we can do. You know, you're going to have to start thinking about, you know, end of life. But Danny did make it. He's now 19 years old and lives with his parents back in Minnesota, where his mom has quit her job to become his full-time caretaker. He's currently in New Orleans undergoing an oxygen treatment. We do see little baby step improvements with Danny. He sh lately, he's been showing emotion. Like, he'll have a couple of tears every day. And it's weird, like right around 6 or 7 p.m. Wednesday night, Danny's siblings, Meredith and Nick, held a candlelight vigil on Mizzou's campus. It has been one year to this day that my family got the dreaded phone call that Danny had gone into cardiac arrest and was, and was revived in the parking lot of the hospital. Meredith says she would see some of the Phi Gamma Delta fraternity brothers on campus after the incident. I did not feel comfortable coming back. I knew they were roaming around this campus and was running into them. They were showing no remorse. The family now wants to raise awareness about hazing to prevent other families from going through the same tragedy. I know it's still horrific what happened, but he's still with us today. The fact that we get to see him and talk to him every day, I mean, just means the absolute world. Tom Santulli tells me that none of the fraternity brothers who have been criminally charged have apologized to the family. Danny's medical bills now exceed $2 million. Several of the fraternity members are due back in court next week. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.